Hi, my name's Erica. You may know me from my surfing vlogs, but today's video is a little different. For some time now, I've been wanting to go on a boat trip, but I don't own a boat or know anything about them. Luckily, I know someone who does. This is where Jerome comes in. He's a friend of mine from college who recently bought a boat and wanted to sail from his hometown in Brighton to the Cornish coast. He needed a few extra hands on deck and invited me and my boyfriend Jesse on his 28 foot boat to help with the Cornish leg of the journey. The goal was to sail from Foy to Falmouth and then to our final destination, the Helford Passage, a stunning area for boating tucked away within the south coast of Cornwall. I want to make it very clear that me and Jesse have zero experience with sailing or boating in general, but we were so excited to see what kind of adventures this trip could bring. Jerome is also new to the sailing world so it was a huge learning curve for us all. Come with us on our seven day journey along the coast of Cornwall. I hope you enjoy the video and consider subscribing for more adventures. For all our bags. On this, <laughs> three of us on that, to go to Jerome's boat. I don't know how we're gonna do it. Apparently, we don't have enough petrol. <laughs> Is this, we're gonna make it, Jerome. Yeah, we're gonna make it. <laughs> You're a natural. <laughs> Thought we were sinking. There was water inside the boat, so my feet got wet. But we made it to Astrafel. So after settling into the boat, we started to plan our route to Falmouth, which is home to the world's third largest natural harbour and is about 71 nautical miles away from Foy. We had an early night because tomorrow we have to wake up at 6am to set off to Falmouth. It's super early, it's like 6.30, sun has risen, it's so beautiful, probably had the last night's sleep, too excited, too excited to just get on the open water. Now we gotta deflate the dinghy, pack up everything, make sure everything's put away so we can set sail to Falmouth. Plan. You're trying to get rid of me. Before we set sail to Falmouth, I'd like to say a quick thank you to today's sponsor, which is Y Food. Y Food is not a protein shake or a diet drink, it's a yummy and balanced drinkable meal. I'm always bringing Y Food with me on my adventures as they fill me up for three to five hours and they taste great. I also don't have to keep them in the fridge, which is perfect for boat life because we had no fridge. Anyway, check out Waifu today using the link below and use my special discount code ERICA10 for 10% off your order with Waifu. That's ERICA10 for 10% off. Thank you Waifu. Okay, now back to the video. Uh, we've just left Foy and we're heading to Farmer. How long is it going to take Captain King? Four to five hours. 45 hours! <laughs> About half an hour in and Jesse was feeling seasick. I guess you never know if you'll get seasick until you're on a one week boat trip and it's too late. We are on the last 
last leg of the journey. We're about an under an hour away. My hair's a mess, a bit windswept. Jesse is down here resting. He got a bit um, seasick. It's very wobbly. Like, way more wobbly than I thought it was gonna be. And Jerome had to go for a wee earlier, so I had to drive the boat. First time ever, and there were some big waves, and the ship tilted a bit. I was like freaking out, but you gotta stay calm in these situations, otherwise, you're just stressing yourself out for no reason, really. Gotta hold on. Hey. Got to hold on. It's the sliding. Hey. Oh my god! I've only seen two other sailboats out here. Maybe it's not a good day to be out in the water. Well, there's a big wave day coming. To be out. Look at that wave behind me. After three hours of being on the floor, Jesse finally made it out on the deck as we started coming into Falmouth Harbour. to Falmer. We haven't eaten anything so we just had some baked beans and toast and now I'm ready to fall asleep. It's like 1pm now. We're gonna make a cup of tea and then get on the dinghy and head out to Fallytown. today the winds really picked up and it's been so wobbly on the boat but I'm fine it was kind of rocking me to sleep but Jesse has been a bit seasick it's actually really <laughs> bumpy and rough I don't know if you can see the chop we've docked up at Falmouth on a boy out the front and we can't do poos when you're in a harbour it's just not very clean and not very nice because when you go to the toilet in a boat it just flushes out into the sea which I didn't know so we have to get a dinghy which is attached to the boat we got a little dinghy and we have to dinghy all the way into the harbour and go to the toilet there and it's the morning and I need my morning dump so just thought I'd let you in on that little secret it's not much of a secret anymore I think we're gonna stay here today just because it's so windy I can't really see us like sailing anywhere because it's gonna just too much wind. Too much wind. That's where we're sleeping. Yeah. Woo! Party, party, party boat! Every morning, Jesse and I have to fold away our bed to make it into a dining table and seating area so we can use it during the day. We need every inch of space we can get, so it's super handy having a foldable bed in this 28 foot boat. This boat can apparently host up to five guests, which we'll be testing out later this week for Jerome's birthday. It stayed windy all day, so we decided to wait patiently until tomorrow to travel up the River Fowl. To pass the time, we had a couple of drinks and one thing led to another. Um, feeling a bit sick, hungover sick. We went out last night. <laughs> <Doesn't> it... <laughs> yeah, we went out last night, did a pub quiz. Jesse won us 20 quid. And then Yay. that meant we had to go out and I can't remember going back on the boat. Jesse had to do up the dinghy, didn't you, last night? Because we just went to bed and left the dinghy. Uh, we're going to have breakfast. We're going to have a full English, full vegan breakfast. Because I need some fried toast to settle my stomach. And a bottle of rum. And a bottle of rum to settle the time. Tidy 
up and put away all this food. I feel brain dead because I'm hungover. But we've got a lot to do. We've got to tidy up, put everything away, make sure the boat's all good. Yeah? Adjustable spanners. What's a spanner again? I don't know what a spanner is. And we stocked up on loads of food, some more alcohol, which was hard to do when you're hungover, is to think about drinking again, but it's all good. Yeah, we stocked up because when we go up the River Fowl, no shops. And we're gonna no, no shops. <laughs> and then straight from the River Fowl, we're gonna make our way to Helford Passage tomorrow. It's gonna be super calm, even more calm than today. I think the winds die down to maybe five miles per hour, uh, zero foot waves, which is great because coming in it was a different story. It was like three foot waves <laughs> and really windy and choppy. But it's gonna it's gonna be like a breeze. So I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be nice being somewhere where it's more secluded because if you can see, we're surrounded by boats and people. There's a party boat going by now. Now that looks like a party I want to be on. <laughs> party bird I want to be on. Jerome is just checking the engine, checking the oil, and that it works, and I think we're all good to go. We have an oil leak. Not the best thing. There was an oil leak, which isn't good. Um, so we can't leave. Falmouth. We might need to get a new part. Jerome's just having a look. He's going through some books. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we can make it to the River Fowl today. Still in Falmouth. We haven't moved. It's like 6 p.m. now. We've got an oil leak and we have to wait for tomorrow to fix it. And then we'll be on our way. But we don't know when it's going to get fixed, if it's going to get fixed. So we're just chilling here and enjoying the sunshine. I mean, we could be stuck in worse places. Good morning, sailors. Me and Jesse have been on this boat for five days now. And today... I'm crazy. Got cabin fever? No. We're a bit stuck. Our engine has failed us. We're gonna get that fixed today and then hopefully, fingers crossed, that we make our way to this lovely area near Falmouth called the Helford Passage. It's gonna be really beautiful and we're gonna anchor up there all weekend and party for our friend's birthday. I haven't slept amazingly. Um, a bit tired, but that's the part of the adventure, isn't it? Let's go get a coffee, I'll meet you downstairs. Ow! Ow! <laughs> oh, you just caught me. I just hit my head. This and that one is horrible. This is even lower. Why I ought to? Yeah, I've killed many brain cells, hit my head on those wooden beams. But life. Good to hear you. We made it to Gilly Bay. Boat. <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful day to be on the beach. We're waiting around because Jerome has to go off and fix his boat. Pray for us that the boat gets fixed and we can head off today, but we're not too sure. It's not That's looking not. that doable, but we'll see. There's a cafe on the beach. We're gonna head there, have some coffee, charge up our devices. So come along. Guys, we're back on the boat. It's about 3.30, so we've been out all day. But now we're setting off 
to Halford. Jerome did a quick fix on the boat and we're just going to cruise to Halford. Hopefully it'll be fine. We've got a bit of wind, so maybe we could put the sail up and go sailing for a bit. I'm now getting ready. I'm putting on my roby because the wind is a bit chilly out there. And obviously, safety first, you guys. A life jacket. So we should get there in about an hour and then we're going to anchor up somewhere beautiful and have a lovely evening. I'm going to be more involved in this sail because last time I was on the floor with seasickness but I think I've gotten used to the sea now. Yeah. So, and also Captain King needs our help. He does need our help and all hands on deck as they say. All hands on deck. making our way to Helford Passage. We're coming in now. It was a very nice sail. We had the sails up at one point. So we're trying to figure out if we're gonna anchor up or attach to a mooring. We don't know. But it's so nice and calm here. The wind is has died down a lot. Do we anchor up here with all the other boats or here by ourselves? We're just trying to get a little bit closer to the land. Erica's steering us around. Jerome is pulling up the anchor and we're trying to get about here drop in anchor I'm feeling so content. We have the sun setting behind. Jerome is behind me fishing. I don't think very successfully, but he's still trying. Just had a lovely dinner and now I'm about to wash up, but I'm gonna be using seawater because we've kind of run out of water. So I'm just gonna use the salt water, it should be fine. The next morning the wind had picked up and like I said we had started dragging anchor so we relocated up the passage to a mooring. This felt a lot safer and it was closer to the pub. Jerome has left us in the boat alone. Maybe we'll get the engine going and go for a quick boat around. <laughs> No, I'm joking guys. We've got two more friends coming all the way from Brighton down to Helford today and they're going to meet us on the boat. There's going to be five of us in this tiny 28 foot boat. It's going to be a tight squeeze. Me and Jessie will be sleeping here on the sofa bed. Zaya will be on here. Hello. Hello. Hi. There's a boat. The mooring man just came by and we just had to pay for the night. Conveniently, Jerome's not here, so I had to use my bank card. So it's £21 to spend the night here on a mooring. A mooring is a big buoy. You know, those big balls that float on top of the surface of the water. They are anchored down to the sea floor and we just attach ourselves to it and we're just chilling in the middle of the passage here. Guys, I don't know how five of us, t me and Jesse are gonna sleep here. A friend's eye is gonna sleep in this cubby hole and it like goes in, in there. Obviously we'll move all that stuff. And then Jerome and Adam, two other friends. This is actually quite a big double bed and you've even got a sky roof, sunroof there. Little windows out to the passage. <laughs> Good 
stance. <laughs> okay guys, hello. So we've just changed our mooring base. Where we were, it was very exposed, very rocky and rolly and there was a lot of boats passing us and it just wasn't good. The only pro was that it was close to the pub. But we decided to go 200 meters down the Helford Passage and we have found a really quiet, still spot to moor the boat for the night. And we'll probably stay here all weekend, I think. There are more boats around us, but I feel like no one's on the boat. So I can't see anyone in sight. So it's very quiet. Should I do it quick? Yeah, super quiet. It's so beautiful here. So I'm very happy we decided to come here. other side of the river this is Helford we've been dropped off here one we need the toilet Jerome has gone with the others to get gas because we have run out of gas so we can't cook or do anything so me and Jesse are just in this very cute very English town yeah it's so tiny we went to a cafe just now it's very cute called the holy mackerel cafe and it was in this converted church type thing <laughs> earlier when I was at the cafe I don't know if you know but a robin the bird is like my spirit animal and the robin was so comfortable with us and was so close I've never been so close to a robin in my life and it went on my foot I'll insert picture now <laughs> While me and Jessie were waiting for Jerome to pick us up from Helford, another robin came up to us. I'm pretty sure it's the same robin, but who knows? Okay, so it was heavily raining when we got back to the boat and we had to put shelter up quick. The others weren't able to get gas as there's a shortage in the southwest, so it's super hard to get hold of. This meant we had to light a barbecue on the boat to cook our food. For the next couple of days, we would retreat to the pubs for warmth, shelter, and of course, pints. And that concludes our seven day boat trip around Cornwall. If you enjoyed this video and would like to support the channel, you can donate directly to me with the super thanks button down below. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more adventures and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.